Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Twin Flame Tarot. So today we're starting the suit of cups and the cups are really powerful. They're all about emotions and feelings and love and relationships and all the good stuff in our lives and that good stuff can come with happiness and sadness and it's how we deal with it and how we perceive things that make things count, makes things good or bad make things negative or positive. Everything is in our perception. Everything that happens in our lives happens for a reason and everything is neutral. It's the way we see it and view it that makes it good or bad. And when we think of the cups, we think of water. Water is connected with emotions, feelings. When we're happy, we cry tears of joy. When we're sad, we cry tears of pain. So it's about water and feeling. So the cups are connected with the water suit of the zodiac. So you've got the water energy, which is very powerful because I'm a Cancerian and Cancerians are very feeling beings, very psychic beings, very tuned in with what's going on. But they also can put up a shell so they can go within. They can be very clingy like the crab, but also very powerful. And that's also the energy connected with love, you know, especially in the twin flame journey, because we can become very dependent on our twin for our own happiness. And as a divine feminine, we certainly have to release that along the way, you know, wanting our twin's energy. That's why we constantly reach out and want that message. It's like a drug to us. Yet for the masculine, the feminine's light and power is also a drug to that. So it works in a balance. And the energy is very powerful. The energy of Scorpio, we've got that sting in our tail. You know, Scorpio is a very sexy sign, a very fiery sign, even though it's connected with water. But it's because of that fiery sting in the tail. You know, when we get hurt, when we go through pain, when our emotions are hurt and we go through trigger energy, we can lash out. And the scorpion has that tail with the stinger on the end. So the scorpion can sting. So we have to learn to harness our power. So we respond with love instead of reacting with fear. And when we react with fear, we can say things we don't mean and do things from a place of struggle instead of a place of peace. And that's when we get into a mess. You know, we do things that we wish we hadn't. We go through regret and pain and that causes sadness too. And the masculines go through that a lot because... When they are struggling, when they are feeling overwhelmed, when they are in that energy where they just need to process and work things out, they can tend to block you or ghost you or ignore you or say things they don't mean, deny things. And that actually gets them into hot water then because they may feel that's the right thing to do at the time, but 10 minutes down the line, they're worrying about it all and wishing they hadn't done that, wanting you in their life. And as a divine family, we can get triggered, take it personally, start going into fear. So the cups are all about learning to respond with love instead of reacting with fear. And the Pisces energy is that deep diver energy, you know, going deep within the self, working things out on a very spiritual level. Pisces are very spiritual beings. So it's all about kind of gathering all that information when we're working with the cups to respond with love and you know Jesus helps us to embody the power of unconditional love and reminds us constantly that we've come here to learn love to learn to be in the energy of love giving love being kind loving generous having compassion understanding being flexible and adaptable and taking our time and that's really what the cups are all about patience power understanding and seeing things from a much higher point of view. So we're going to connect with the cups. We're going to start today with the Ace of Cups. So we're going to look at the card together, talk about the visual element of it, what we feel when we connect with the card. And then we're going to come back and talk about it in connection with Twin Flames. The Ace of Cups. So I'm going to be explaining a lot more about this in a second when we go into the twin flame aspect of this. But the card itself is just super powerful. So we know that the ace is about action and the ace of cups is about a new beginning, a new beginning in love, a new relationship with yourself, a new relationship with your creator, a new relationship with the way you see the world. So you fall in love with life when you get this card. 
you're being given that opportunity, a new relationship with your beloved to make things better, brighter and more important than anything else, which means commitment. So this is also a card about making a commitment to yourself, making a commitment to your person and making things better and more magical than it's ever been before. And you can see you've got the water energy there. Water is about emotions. So it's the way it makes you feel. And you've got the hand coming from the clouds, the hand of God, the hand of source, the hand of the universe offering you that beautiful cup that seems to be overflowing, overflowing with life, overflowing with love, overflowing with adventure and magical things, overflowing with peace. So when we get the Ace of Cups, it's also very peaceful energy because things are improving, falling into place in your life, getting better, the opportunity for new love. And we think of new love, we automatically think about a love relationship. But new love is seen it everywhere. It could be a new home, a new home to love, a new environment, a new way of being, a new career feeling strong, taking action towards something new. And the universe is offering it to you. Another chance, another chance at love. So be open to love, feel love, be ready for love and allow love to come into your life and heart. Even if you've been hurt before, even if you've cried tears of pain, you will cry tears of happiness again. And the dove there, the bird, is kind of the symbol of freedom and peaceful energy and power. And the cup, the gold cup, is also a symbol of riches and wealth and abundance and everything you want flowing in. And the hand is shining there because it's being offered to you. And remember, sometimes we don't see it because we're too busy. We're busy in our mind overthinking, procrastinating, working things out. But when we're open, we see love everywhere we go. Because the universe is always loving us and blessing us and giving to us. And when we give, we receive. So whatever energy you are in right now, if you pull this card, you know that you're doing something right. Because the universe is bringing something into your life. Something that's going to bring happiness, joy, bliss and love and power. Such a fantastic card. Also connected with the water element of the zodiac. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but also connected with the way we feel, the way we tune in with ourselves, Atlantis energy, so telepathic communication, realizing that we don't have to have physical conversation with someone to connect with them because we are always connected with everyone in a very powerful spiritual way. So the Ace of Cups is also a very spiritual power because it's showing you that you have a new relationship with yourself to tap in with your intuition and your guides and your psychic awareness. So you're becoming more tuned in, more clairvoyant, more clairsentient, more clairaudient than ever before. So you're also feeling powerful in who you are. Such a powerful card. You can see with the Ace of Cups, it's really a card of victory in our life because we know we're ready for love. We know we are deserving of love. We realize that we are lovable and loving and kind and we deserve to have that in our life. And, you know, this is a very powerful card about self-love too because we can't love another until we love ourselves. And we can think we love them, but we don't really love them in a selfless, unconditional way. You know, but until we love ourselves, our love affairs, our love life can be very conditional. And that's why we go through many relationships along the way. You know, the masculines tend to experience more karmic energies. The feminine is a lot stronger because as soon as you know that you are a twin flame and that person is the one for you, you are very honest with yourself about that. So you don't want to be with anybody else and you're quite happy being single and working on that relationship with yourself. And that's a very beautiful, powerful thing. Whereas sometimes the masculines remain in karmic situations because they are still learning karmic lessons and both serve purpose. And as a divine feminine, we learn through self-love and 
self-worth and self-value that we are enough, that nobody compares to who we are in our own life and in the life of the masculine. So the karmic partner also teaches us lessons too. So this card is really about a new relationship, a new relationship first with ourself, and then we're able to embrace a new relationship with our twin flame because we are seeing things from a much different perspective, a much higher point of view. We're realizing why things happen the way they do. And we're becoming very powerful in that within our feelings. So we feel things. So this is also a card of excitement because the universe is offering something to you. That cup of love, the universe is offering that to you and saying, are you ready to take it? And first we have to take it to drink it in, to drink from that cup, to nourish ourselves and love ourselves and give back to ourselves. So the first thing we learn as a twin flame, and that can be in separation, it can be throughout communication, sporadic communication, or it can be a connection we have with our twin in the 5D realm, we learn to love and give to ourselves, to build that relationship with ourselves because that's one of the most important relationships we will ever have. You know, we are with ourselves throughout our life. It always reminds me of Samantha in Sex and the City. You know, when she ends things with Smith and she kind of says, this is the relationship I need to be working on with me. You know, and it's so true. We have to give back to ourselves because until we are completely content in our body and our mind and who we are as a person and loving the person that we are, loving our own company, loving spending time with ourselves, we can't truly be there for anyone else. Because we're in a conditional energy, which means we get demanding. We put conditions on things. We expect things to go a certain way. And when things don't go that way, we get disappointed. We go into anger and frustration and jealousy. And we start beating ourselves up and taking things personally. So the Ace of Cups is really saying to you, learn to love yourself. Learn to be in a relationship first with yourself, go places with yourself, do things with yourself, get to know your inner child, do fun things, because the universe here is kind of offering you another chance, another chance to love, to start loving you, and then this card is also about the relationship you have with your creator, your God, or universe, or mother earth, father sky, whoever you connect with, as a creator energy or a father or mother energy, then this is the relationship with them too. This is your connection with the person or the being or the energy that created you. Remember, we all have different beliefs and that's okay. So for me, this is about my connection with God and the angels and Jesus. And that's also one of the most powerful relationships we have. So our twin flame journey also helps us as a divine feminine to find that connection with God because without the connection and support from heaven, we don't really get through it very well. So when we trust and know and have faith that we are protected, guided and supported, we feel better. And that's the most important relationship that I really encountered along my twin flame journey because my relationship with God and Jesus and the angels during separation and the pain and the struggle, it kept me going. It made me strong. It helped me to understand. It gave me purpose. It allowed me to find my mission. And it allowed me to start to love the person I really am. And I realized that even though I was giving to myself before and you know, loving myself, I wasn't really loving myself at all, because I was expecting other people to love me, give to me, be there for me, and all I really needed to do was give to myself, be there for myself, and, you know, really value myself, and sometimes we go through karmic relationships ourselves, catalyst connections, to love ourselves, people who can mirror our twin, who don't give us anything that we need, 
And our twin flame sometimes doesn't really give us what we need, but what we need and what we want are usually two different things. We think we want this, but we don't. We may need something else and the universe is very aware of that. So when both twins are ready for union, both twins will come into union. And that can be very hard to take because a lot of the time on this journey as a divine feminine, we feel ready, we think we are ready, even though we may still be getting triggered by things or stressing out over when it's going to happen or focusing on the karmic partner or, you know, getting angry about things or dealing with things differently. We're not really ready at all. We're still learning to love and to be unconditional about this love because love is unconditional. Look at the First Corinthians Bible verse, love is patient, love is kind, love does not demand its own way, love does not hold any records of wrongs, it's about forgiveness, it's really about the fruit of the spirit, about loving from a place of power where you don't need anything back and that's why when we reach out to our twin flame, sometimes you know, we get angry if we don't get a response. That's a conditional energy. Yet sometimes we reach out just because we want to show them we care and we love them and we don't want a response. We just want them to know. And that's usually the time when they do respond because there's no condition there. So it's about learning the difference between conditional love and unconditional love. And twin flame love is unconditional love. And when you have kind of mastered that relationship with yourself and mastered the relationship with God and the angels and your higher self. That's when you master the connection with your twin because you're in full surrender and that's when the door opens for you and the masculines return to you and you come into union. So this is a new relationship with your twin, with yourself and with the creator, a new beginning. So when this card comes up, <clears throat> they're giving me fear and block communication. When this comes up, if you're in any fear or if you're wondering when you're going to talk again or you're wondering when you're going to come together, this is a very positive, optimistic sign because it shows the universe is offering another chance here to love in a different way instead of going round in circles, blaming the past, going over the past, dredging up the past. It's an opportunity to bring a new type of energy into your connection. So if you're doing a reading, for example, for a single person and they aren't a twin flame or they don't feel that they, you know, are with anyone in the mind, you know, they feel that they are single and they are ready for love and this card comes in, this can symbolize a new romantic relationship, something new coming in, an opportunity being given for a new beginning in love. And if this card comes into an existing connection, you <clears throat> see how they're blocking the throat. You know, it's a big sign that a new beginning has been offered to you in this love. So it's going to feel new, fresh. So it doesn't mean someone new is going to come in for you, Divine Family. It means your masculine is going to come into your life in a new way, which means they are going to be much brighter and optimistic about things. They're going to be in a higher energy. They may be ready for commitment. This may be the union that you've been waiting for. Again, remember, read it how it comes up aspected with all the cards. So if this comes up, for example, with the Ten of Cups and the Star and the Eight of Wands, you know things are definitely moving into place for your union. If this comes up with the Hanged Man or the Hermit card or the Four of Swords, you know that it's coming, but it's all about you going within first and loving you and finding that connection with source and tuning in with what this love is. So learn to read the cards from your intuition and your feelings and then you'll know what the energy is. But this is like being offered something wonderful from God, from the angels, from the universe, an opportunity to love, an opportunity to begin again, to feel victorious because whenever we get a cup, it's like Obviously, cups are chalices, but a cup is like victory. That victory cup, when we are successful at something, we win a trophy. And the trophy is usually in the form of a cup. So it's about knowing that you will be successful. So 
If you want one word for the Ace of Cups, it's love. But it's also new beginnings, new love, learning to love yourself, learning to love your creator, learning to love life, being grateful for everything. And then the door opens for magical romantic love in your connection. So we've got let love in. Let love in. So when we get this card, we know that we are open to allowing love into our lives. We're ready. We've been offered another chance. We are forgiving of the past and we're wiping the slate clean and we're ready for something new. You know, maybe you're thinking, well, I'll give this to the universe and said my twin flame or something better. So the universe may offer you someone else, like a soul teacher who can teach you things on your path to union because all paths lead home. But if you're not interested in that, the universe is going to offer you something new to love, like a new career or a project or something magical in your life that you're going to be excited about. And you're going to be spending time and energy on and freeing up the energy of your connection. And then the throat chakra heals. So I'm also feeling in this card throat chakra healing activation so that new ways of communication can come in. New doors can open, fresh starts. So for the feminine, I am ready for a new relationship with you. So you're saying to your masculine, I'm ready for a new relationship with you. That means you're not going to keep going over the past. You're not worried about what's gone. You're focused in the now because when we are in the now, we have won. You know, now backwards spells one. So remember that. Sometimes things seem backwards in our journey, but they're really moving forwards. And for the masculine, I am ready to begin again. So this is a beautiful energy when it comes into a reading because you know something magical is happening and the angels, the universe, God, whoever you believe in, your creator source is offering you another chance to love, to love them, to love you, and to love God in a very unconditional way. It's a very beautiful energy to come into a reading, and I hope this helps. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.